I wasn't always big. My growth chart said I was supposed to be something like five feet tall. My freshman 15 pounds in college was more like 35 for me. I started my doctoral work, which meant eating fast food several times a week during my commute to school. Sleep deprivation, no physical activity for several years. I'm Andy Axum, Director of Student Development at the UNT Health Science Center. At age 33, I was morbidly obese. By 2010, I topped the scales at a whopping 385 pounds. Something had to change. And in August of that year, I started one of the toughest journeys of my life, the journey to health. I made a commitment to myself then to get in better shape, to start working out with a personal trainer. I started running and I wanted to run a 5K. That was the first goal. From there, once I had, I had accomplished a 5K, I said, well, what's next? That's when I really started putting these long, crazy goals into place to lose 150 pounds and uh, you know, really transform my life. Then my training partner, Nat Bucha, and I decided to run the 2012 Dallas Marathon, a 26.2 mile test of my body and my soul. My doctor cleared me to begin this journey, but would I be able to do it? I knew I would need help. See, I'm the guy at the UNT Health Science Center who helps students succeed. Little did I know that it would be a student who ensured I succeeded in my journey. I was fortunate enough to go to the Founders Activity Center and enlist the help of Hein Schwarzkopf, a first year medical student at TCOM. He uh, is a former college athlete. He ran track. I knew right off the bat that if I'd listened to what he had to say and took his training and advice to heart, that I would prepare appropriately for the marathon and be able to run it. Some of the thoughts going through my mind were, can he run the full distance? Is he gonna continue with the training? Is, can, is he gonna always work hard? That concern quickly just dissipated once I started really working with Andy and uh, seeing how dedicated he was, how hard working he was. He would uh, always tell me how he uh, ran his personal best for multiple workouts that we did. Uh, he continuously surprised me how well he was doing and how fast he was improving. As the race approached, I was asking myself, what if the pain is too much? What if I go too slow? What if I can't follow through on this commitment? I'm good, I'm ready to go, I'm uh, rested. It's been a couple days since I had my freak out. I, I think I've got a little bit in the tank and I'm uh, gonna run hard and give it my all. So about mile 15, I actually hit the wall. My stomach started getting queasy. I had to walk for a couple miles. So I was really uh, kind of disappointed that I was going so slow. Really about mile 20, mile 21, uh, I, I really picked it up. And, and I was starting to run a lot faster than other racers around me. Uh, I met up with my training partner at about mile 22. He was five to seven minutes ahead of me. So I caught him and uh, we helped each other finish the race and help motivate each other to the finish line. So that was really a, a great thing to enjoy the whole race experience, to take it all in. The sights, the sounds, the people, everything was just phenomenal. After the race, I felt great. Crossing the finish line was an unbelievable accomplishment. It is uh, such a point of pride internally for me to wear I was able to accomplish that and get through it and persevere. I met up with my family and everyone who was there to cheer me on throughout the day and uh, exchanged a lot of hugs and congratulations. I felt great, I really did. I felt like I was able to uh, keep going. You know, if you had asked me to run some more, I probably would have. What impresses me most about Andy is the way he would put the work in every single day. I sort of live through Andy. Him accomplishing the goal is me accomplishing the goal. I guess joining the medical field, being able to help people uh, when they're sick, when they're hurt, you know, it was just something that fit my lifestyle. I feel like this particular story has some resonance in terms of anybody. Uh, they can all relate to what I've gone through and where I'm at now, and hopefully uh, gives them a little bit of inspiration to get out there and, and be a healthier person. I believe I contribute to healthier communities by being a good example for others, by modeling the way, by not making excuses, by trying to do the right thing, 
even when no one else is looking. By having pride in what I do and helping others take pride in what they do as well. I believe through that, we are truly building a healthier community for others.